Hello everybody and welcome to Network Minds. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Microsoft Office 2007. Uh, I'll show you the later versions uh, as we go along, but we're going to start with this version and I'll show you how to use the software as well, how to use the individual programs in another time. So we'll go ahead and I've copied all the CD-ROM files. If you put your CD-ROM in your drive, this is what you'd see if it didn't prompt you to install it. Uh, go ahead and run the setup execute file in the folder and say yes. At this point it will look exactly the same as your installation. If you have an installation key, go ahead and put it now. If you don't have one, you don't need to put it in. It will activate at a later time. It will give you like 30 days to activate it. So I'll go ahead and put mine in here. And it checks out to um, okay. And if you get this check mark here beside, it means your key checks out to be all right. And we'll go ahead and hit continue. Uh, read the terms of agreement and go ahead the EULA and go ahead and accept the terms of agreement if you do. We'll continue now for Microsoft Office installation. I like to use a customized option. And because what I want to do is, first of all, for Excel, I want to run all from my computer. From Microsoft Access, the same, run all from my computer. Microsoft Groove, I don't want that on my computer at all. InfoPath, same, I don't want it on my computer. OneNote, I don't want it on my computer. Microsoft Outlook, run all. PowerPoint, well, let's run all from my computer. And that should be good enough. Publisher as well. Um, the rest, Microsoft Word, here we are. Uh, also run all from my computer. So once those are all chosen, that's all I wanted to was to remove these Groove, InfoPath, and OneNote. We'll go ahead and install now. Okay, perfect. So the office installation is complete. <clears throat> we can go ahead and close this off. And just to verify that it works, let's go ahead and go to the start, start button, all programs, Microsoft Office, and you can see they're installed here. If you click on the Excel, let's go, through, go ahead and just click on each one individually, make sure they run and open up. Also, just uh, accepted to have Microsoft updates automatically update my Microsoft Office. It's just a good option.